Radar, which stands for Radio Detection and Ranging, is used in many professions today for multiple purposes, some being commercial and others military. Radar has changed the world, from helping the Allies defeat the Axis in World War II to being able to detect incoming storms and finding fish. Radar was conceived way back in 1904 when a German engineer named Christian Holzmer used radio waves in his invention, the telemobilescope. The telemobilescope used radio waves to help stop collisions between merchant ships, such as the one shown in the picture. The telemobilescope laid the foundation for modern-day radar and how, is it, and how it is used in commercial and military purposes. In 1922, the Italian physicist Guglielmo Marconi proved that radio waves reflect off metallic objects. Later, in 1924, English physicists Edward Appleton and Miles Barnett used radio signals to find the ionosphere. 1925 was a big year in the development of radar. The British Air Ministry began to fund a project to develop a death ray, which they called radar. Later in 1925, the British had developed a pulse radar, and Gregory Briette and Merle Tove had made a pulse signal EMP radar. By later 1925, English scientists and meteorologists began using radar to track incoming storms. 1933 was the beginning for American research into radar. Leo C. Young started the American research into radar by recommending to the U.S. military that they should begin research into radar. The American military began research into a continuous beam radar, which is not as good as a pulse radar that we use today. Leo C. Young spotted that problem and began to recommend that they research into pulse radar, which they did later that year. This photo is how radar works and how it detects incoming objects or storms. In 1934, Robert M. Page began experimenting and developing American wartime radar at the Rad Labs at MIT, or Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Later, in 1938, the original radar from World War I, called Sonar, was adapted for use for detecting incoming bombers and other objects. This helped save the lives of countless Allied soldiers in World War II. In 1939, British physicists at the University of Birmingham created the Cavity Magnet Oscillator. They shared the details of it with the American scientists. Later in 1940, British scientists and American scientists began joint building efforts in developing radar. Two major types of Radar were developed during the 1940s, tracking radar and moving target indication radar. These radars were developed by eight different countries, the United States of America, Britain, Germany, France, the Soviet Union, Italy, the Netherlands, and Japan. These two types of radar spawned over a hundred different types of radar between 1940 and 1945. Germany had the most advanced radar at the beginning of World War II. By 1936, Germany had installed radar on every ship. The Germans stopped radar research and development by 1940 due to them believing that they were winning the war. German propaganda about a death ray was very interesting to many scientists, including Sir Robert A. Watson. He sent a letter to Parliament stating that the death ray section but could be used for detecting incoming bombers. And by September 1938, the British had surrounded their island with radar called Chain Home. It was used to detect incoming German bombers. And by 1940, the Luftwaffe attacked Britain, and the radar array helped detect every bomber that came into Britain. Radar had developed 
word from experiments begun in England in 1935 by Robert Watson Watt. By 1937, there was a chain of stations across the country for detecting aircraft. In the forcing house of war, progress was almost miraculous, and soon there were radar sets in aircraft as well. The U.S. Army had two types of radar, SCR-268, which controls anti-aircraft fire, and the SCR-270, which detects aircraft. Both were used in World War II. In early 1939, the USS New York was equipped with radar. It was the first American ship to be equipped. Radar helped the American convoys headed to Britain detect German U-boats. The Soviet Union began work on radar in the 1930s, and by June 1941, when the Germans invaded them, they developed multiple types of radar. Although their radar was less than stellar, it still helped defeat the Germans and push them back into their own country. This saved the Allies from a quick exit from World War II. By the end of World War II, radar was helping build civilian things like transfers and TVs and computers. In 1947, John Barker started using radar to help catch his speeders. He used it in his invention, the speed gun. And during the late 1950s, airborne pulse Doppler radar was first used in the Bormac air-to-air -air missile. And also during the 1950s, Klystron amplifier was developed and it was used in long-range radar. The first radars for detecting intercontinental ballistic missiles and satellites were made in the 1960s, as were the first electronically steered faced array radars and the HF over-the-horizon radar. In the 1970s, data processing is invented. This allows the United States to create AWACS, the Airborne Warning and Control System. Radar is used in many civilian jobs today, including marine navigators, marine surveyors, surveyors in general, meteorologists, and astronomers. Air traffic controllers use microwave early warning radar for detecting incoming planes. And radar can show how fast wind blows at high altitudes. And now Doppler radar is used for observing and tracking storms. Space probes Use radar to map planet surfaces. The SSN Space Surveillance Network uses radar to monitor space debris and all satellites. The military has many uses for radar these days. It is used for testing and experimenting missiles on planes. It can be used for air defense, intelligence gathering, and weapon fire control. The Coast Guard uses radar to search for missing ships, and they use it on spy planes for mapping of the ground. It can guide missiles, and the BMEWS detects missiles from over 3,000 miles away.